because I'd like to know more about it. They have at Walmart a receiver, a satellite receiver and all the tools and whatnot for like $60 plus a $15 activation fee or whatever, or monthly fee or whatever. And you get like over 100 and some, like over 120 channels, 130, 140. I'm not too sure, but I know you get a lot. Because around here in good old Minnesota, there isn't, northern Minnesota, there isn't much for radio. And I should know, being a guy who once was in radio, there isn't a whole lot around here. We used to have a great oldies station, and I grew up listening to the oldies, believe it or not. Uh, you'll, you'll probably be like, see, what, what are you, Frankie, 55 years old? I'd say, or 56, instead of 26? No, I'm 26, but I. That's where I grew my uh, love and appreciation for, for music of all kinds by starting out with really listening to oldies, you know. Stuff from Buddy Holly, Dale Shannon, Richie Valens, Big Bopper, you know, to the, the killer Jerry Lee Lewis and all that. And eventually transpired to classic country and, and bluegrass and, and, you know, regular country. I don't like today's country. Today's country is pretty much crap. Pretty much. Crap in a, crap in a bucket, more or less, you know. It's too poppy, you know. Anyway, they don't have many oldies stations around here. We we have, we had one that was a uh, called Cool 100.3 or KSNR, based out of Grand Forks, and they used to broadcast oldies all the time. Back to the days of the Jim Zippo in the morning show, and whatnot. And then they decided to convert to country, call it Cat Country, as for nothing but country music. They do play some old country, some classic country here and there, but it's mostly a lot of the newer country, mixed in with some of the 80s and 90s country. But we don't, I don't really listen to it much. So I got to thinking, you know, there, there isn't much around here for radio, so I should get myself a satellite receiver. You know, I, I, it's kind of the new thing now. It's been around for a little while. I think because of the fact that Sirius and XM are, are together is why the receivers are a lot more cheaper now. It used to be like freaking... $120, $130 is for a satellite receiver, you know, and a car audio set and everything. It used to be more technical than it is now. Things a lot more easier to have access to. So, I wasn't too sure yet if I'm going to do it or not, but they, I do know that they got a, a big playlist of stuff, and I have a, a trial right now on the internet I've listened to on Sirius, so, you know, I'm kind of getting, a, getting the hang of it anyway. But I am going to get it. I'm not saying I'm not going to get it. I'm just deciding if I should get it this weekend or I should wait till the next pay period to get it. Because I, there's some other things that I wanted to get from eBay or from Amazon and Walmart. Well, not this time around. And plus, my family and I are going down to Grand Forks and, uh, this Monday to celebrate their 24th anniversary. So, I don't know. I'm <laughs> but... When I get it, I'll let you guys know and I'll show you around because I think uh, I think it's pretty cool. You know, my friend, my old friend Brian Biggs, if you remember from a few around the town videos that we made on this channel, uh, he has Sirius Radio, or he has the you know the Sirius receiver, but he has the, the XM Sirius Radio now, so I think that's kind of cool. But uh, other than that, that's about. There isn't a whole lot else I have to say. It's just a random video of random things to talk about. Uh, I want to thank all my subscribers and whatnot for uh, being patient with me. And I don't have that many, you know. And probably the reason why is because either A, my videos aren't as entertaining as they used to be, or they could be, or B, just because I haven't really had the time to, or had the chance to really make a, a cool, fun video. And the thing of it is, now that I live in a green bush here, all my the friends that I did hang out with aren't really are either in Thief River or Warren or they're you know they're around you know they're in different areas you know, or they're in the military so that's why it's hard for me to there isn't really much for for friendships or you know friends around here like there used to be in this great city of Greenbush here at the Welcome Park but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I guess one other thing. Uh, now that uh, now that uh, well, I, I guess one thing I, I can say is that I did get a chance to watch the the Halloween the uh, the eight original Halloween movies that came out 
before Rob Zombie came and messed everything up <clears throat> with the, the Halloween stuff, uh, or the remakes and everything. I'm talking the original eight movies. Uh, I've got a chance to see them, and maybe, maybe the week of Halloween I will do a review. Now I know uh, everybody pretty much does DVD reviews. That's why I haven't really been as motivated as I was when I first started doing this, because of the fact that everybody does reviews now, whether they have a, a lot a big subscriber base or not, they all still pretty much everybody does reviews on movies on DVDs or VHSs or whatever or Blu-rays and that's why I haven't really been motivated enough because I always wonder what would give my review what what would make my review so different from everybody else's you know you sit around or you stand or whatever if I had a, an extra friend or whatever that could help me with some of the reviews that'd be great but uh, most of the time you just stand around and you you don't really or, or sit and you hold the movie up and you talk about it and you you give your own review or your own take of it. But I see everybody do that now. That's why I haven't really been doing much for DVD reviews. But I will make a special occasion to do a, a review here and there. But I think the week of Halloween I will I will do a review of the uh, eight original Halloween movies from the first one all the way to Resurrection and uh, give you my take of what I thought of it. And uh, kind of go from there. But uh, anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. And trust me, there will be a lot more better videos in the future, I hope. So you guys take care. And we'll see you next week for the big Halloween review.